Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here. And in this video, I'm going to be debuting the second version of the Prana Transmission Technique. And so, if you are not familiar with PTT, or Prana Transmission Technique, I'll have a link above where you can access the playlist where there is the three days, uh, three day challenge of the Prana Transmission Technique and that would be considered the first version, all right? So again, just click on that link. You can also find the link in the video description as well too. And you can check out those three videos. That is what I would suggest firstly, before you get into the second version of Prana Transmission Technique. So just be familiar with those three videos through the Prana Transmission Technique three-day challenge before you go into the second version, okay? So looking into PTT V2, version two. So what did we learn in version one? Well, through version one, we realized that we have two phases. We have a phase one, and we have a phase two. And that phase one, was just being able to identify a thought and be aware of it based on what it does to you. So it's like you're discovering your triggers, okay? So when it comes down to phase one, we are discovering a thought that triggers us. Or I should say that triggers you, okay? We're discovering a thought that triggers you. Now, another handy tool that you can use through Prana Transmission, both version one and this one, version two, there is a PDF document that you'll also find in the video description. It is called the Emotional Situation Checklist. And this will majorly help you out in being able to identify conflicts as they arise and then being able to release them through Prana Transmission. Okay, so check out that free PDF document that you'll find in the video description. Okay, so phase one, discovering a thought that triggers you. So Brad, what do you mean? Well, let's say, for example, if I was to say your father, and like, oh, my father, right? All of a sudden you get a triggering response. You get an emotional trigger by me saying, oh, your father right? Because you had some particular type of ordeal with him. So anytime we get that trigger hit, that is letting you know flat out that you are emotionally compromised with a thought. Okay, like I talked about in version one, you see how this thought becomes inflamed. It becomes inflamed with your emotions. That's really what the problem is with all the thoughts. The thoughts themselves really are neutral. They are default in a way. They only have some type of pain surrounding them because of the emotional meaning that we put into them. So when you see me doing this zigzag wave here, that's indicating that that thought is inflamed. But when we start to heal the inflammation around the thought, the thought becomes neutral again. Okay? It becomes without meaning through you. And now you can push that thought away. Okay, and then it no longer bothers you. Even if that thought shows up again, doesn't matter. It has no emotional conflict. It has no emotional trigger. It has no emotional inflammation. And it is therefore rendered harmless. Okay, so it doesn't matter. If you make peace with your dad, doesn't matter if you have all these thoughts coming up about your dad and saying, I don't care. I've already made peace with him. I've been able to completely snuff out the emotional inflammation that was surrounding that thought pertaining to my dad. So I don't feel that emotional pressure anymore. It's gone. I've cleared it away. Great. That's what we're doing in phase one. Okay. Now, when we go over to phase two, phase two, we we're actually doing the transmission phase, which incorporates two things. 
Number one, okay, we are breathing in spirit. I should say breathing in and out spirit. We're bringing that realization of spirit into the body because spirit's going to be doing the work in the background. Number two is that we are doing our sankalpa. Okay, if you remember what sankalpa is, when I talked about it in the three day challenge, okay, you remember that it is a heartfelt intention. Okay, it's an intention that comes straight from your heart and you're feeling this pure, uh, really, really, I'd say really pure, really strong willpower. This really strong intention to heal any effects within the cellular body of yourself that was incorporated through the emotional inflammation. So what we're doing here is we're clearing away the thought and then we're working with spirit to clear away any remainder of that emotional inflammation within the cellular body. So when I say, okay, well, now you want to pull out your sankalpa. And that may just be something very simple, like I am healing my body to clear away this condition. Let me say it two more times. Second time, more sincerely. I am healing my body to clear away this condition. Third time, more sincerely. I am healing my body to clear away this condition. All right. So that's how it works. Very, very simple. So now we're going to go into, as we did this quick refreshing, this quick refreshing flow of what we learned in version one. Well, phase two, inversion two, is exactly the same, okay? So we're not altering anything within phase two. So if you're already familiar with prana transmission technique version one, and you're aware of phase two, right? Breathing in spirit, saying your sankalpa, and letting spirit work in the background while you're being led intuitively. And you follow your intuition, and intuition tells you when you're done. Then you conclude. Okay, so phase two stays the same. Okay, phase two of PTT is the same as version one. Okay, so we're just focusing on phase one here. So there's a difference now with phase one when it comes to version two. Okay, so what we did in the first version of prana transmission technique is we did heart rate variability breath. Okay, we did five repetitions of heart rate variability breath to clear away the emotional inflammation surrounding a thought. Well, we're going to do something very different this time. This time, in version two, phase one, we're going to do Om Japa instead of heart rate variability. Brad, what does Om Japa mean? Well, Japa itself means repetition, or again, mutters, whispers in that way. But I would look at it in the idea of repetition, okay? Om repetition. We're just doing three repetitions of Om. So as I talked about in version one, that you did five heart rate variability breaths, and that those five breaths equal out to one run. Okay, so when we do three ohms, that equals out to one run. Okay, so that's all we're doing. It's really, really simple. Now, in traditional Om Japa, if we're working at this through yoga, what they would want is that they would want you to do Om chants internally. You would want to do it through the mind. However, we can forego that rule, okay? You can either do it in the mind or you can do it out loud, okay? So don't be afraid to do Om Japa out loud with clearing out the emotional inflammation within the thought. So I'm gonna give you guys a live demonstration just through phase one about how we would do this, okay? 
So if I basically felt that I was looking inside my thoughts, and maybe I look inside my bank account, oh my goodness, I'm running low on money. Oh my goodness, now I'm having a financial crisis. I'm having a money crisis right now, okay? So that's my triggering thought, which I'll refer to as TT. My triggering thought, okay? So what is my triggering thought about? It's a money crisis. Okay, I'm low on money and I'm scared. So, as I'm scared, well, there you go, that's fear. Am I sad or angry? No, it's mostly just fear. I'm feeling very afraid because what if I run out of money? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna pay my grocery bills, etc. right? My groceries, pay for my bills, pay my rent, etc. okay? So we're going into this fear. Now, one of the most important things, and I didn't even mention this in version one, one of the most important things before you even do prana transmission technique or BCR technique or cord removal healing or conflict elimination technique before you do any technique at all is you got to get yourself into calmness. Okay. That is first and foremost. That is essential. So we don't just feel like we're in a panic and then we're just going to run in and do prana transmission technique. Okay. We have to calm ourselves down. So the pre-practice to any technique is HRV, heart rate variability breath. This is why in the 30-day challenge of the BCR technique, I get everybody to really start off by firstly doing the first two phases of breath. Phase one is just breathing in, breathing out through the mouth, doing that a few times. Then we go into heart rate variability and we practice that for a few minutes, okay? So just a good thing to start the day is heart rate variability, okay? So HRV is essential. We want to do this, I would say, like I said, just waking up every single morning, once you freshen yourself up, you start doing heart rate variability breath, okay? Even if you're just doing it for like three to five minutes, that's good. This is what I've emphasized with BCR technique, 30 day challenge, okay? is that we're doing this first before we even touch this, okay? We're doing this first before we touch any of the other free techniques that's on my YouTube channel. And I would also suggest that you're doing this before you touch any other technique that is not my own, okay? It's just a very good habit to get into. If you want to heal, you have to be calm. You're not gonna be panicking like this, oh my God, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? You're not going to get anywhere. You're stuck inside your bubble. Here's you. Inside your bubble. This emotional bubble, and you're getting all worked up. You're getting into a panic. And you're not going to be able to do any healing on yourself at all. And I don't care what technique you're doing. I don't care if you're doing Reiki. Okay? I don't care if you're doing quantum healing or anything of that nature. If you are completely stuck inside that little emotional bubble can't do anything for you. So you have to break out of that bubble by doing this, by doing heart rate variability, okay? That is extremely important, okay? So please make sure you're calming yourself down. We're going into the low idle state. We're getting ourselves into a subtle state of being. That's extremely, extremely important, okay? So once we've done that, okay, so I basically had my trigger. My thought trigger, a money crisis, fear. I'll spend a couple minutes doing some heart rate variability. Okay, now I'm starting to calm down, good. Now we can go to work because you're feeling the low idle, subtle state taking place within yourself. We're stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system and that is essential to healing. Extremely important guys, I can't emphasize that enough. So once we've done this, now we go into prana transmission technique. Now we do any form of healing technique, it's fine, okay? So now that we've gone into that, we're gonna do Om Japa, three ohms around this money crisis. Now, Brad, do I need to visualize anything? Do I need to do any kind of fancy affirmation when it comes to prana transmission technique phase one? No, not at all. I don't want you guys visualizing anything. I don't want you guys doing any kind of fancy affirmation at all has nothing to do with that, okay? 
all we're doing is we're being aware of a thought. Okay? So if I told you guys right now, don't think of elephants, what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to think of elephants. That's it. Did it need to come through some fancy visualization? Did it need to come through some fancy affirmation? All I told you was, don't think of elephants. And you think of elephants. Okay? It's just the thought. All I'm doing is I'm being aware of that thought. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not doing anything advanced. Okay? So when I say, okay, money crisis, here's an emotional trigger, it hit me. Come on, we've all had emotional triggers. We know what it feels like. Okay? That trigger, once that comes up, we catch it. We catch it and now we start working with it. So we may want to write it down. Here's a money crisis. I'm feeling a lot of fear around this money crisis because I'm tuning into the thought. How is this thought making me feel? I feel afraid. I feel afraid because I have this money crisis. Okay, that's it. So now that you're aware of the thought, you don't have to do anything else pertaining to the thought. It's already there. It's already in your awareness. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And you're going to direct the ohm towards that thought. And that's it. Inhale. Oh. Second time. Oh. Third and final time. Oh. Just tune back into that thought that caused you to be triggered. Is that thought still affecting you? No. No. It's completely gone, Brad. Great. Push that thought away. Just put it back into the darkness. And it's gone. Okay? So that's all we're doing. So just like we did the five repetitions of the heart rate variability breath in version one, we're just doing three ohms, three repetitions of ohm, equaling one run through the new version two, phase one, okay? So all you're doing is you're doing ohm chants just like you saw me do here. Okay, then we check in. So say for example as well, I still feel it a little bit, but it's definitely lighter, okay? Because that would be my question. If you said, is that thought still affecting me? Well, yeah, and I would ask you, has it gotten lighter? Oh yeah, it's gotten lighter. Great, you're making progress. Okay, so then we just do another run. We do three more ohms. We do another run. Ohm, ohm, ohm. I check back with it. Is this thought still affecting me? That's the question you always ask yourself. Once you're finished doing the three ohms, is this thought still affecting me? No, it's completely gone. Good, push it back into the darkness. Doesn't even matter if it comes back. It has no emotional inflammation. It has no emotional trigger at all. It's neutralized. You've snuffed out the emotional inflammation. Okay? So, we've turned this, with all of its inflammation, just back into this again. It's just a thought. This isn't here. All right? So that's what we're doing. So all we're doing instead of heart rate variability for phase one is we're doing Om Japa, okay? So the reason why I wanted to put the Om chant in is because it's very, very powerful, okay? And it's actually less, right? So you only have to do three of the Om chants, whereas when you're doing heart rate variability, you're doing five, five repetitions of HRV, okay? In this version, you're just doing three Om chants and you're checking in with the thought, okay? Phase two is exactly the same as version one, as I said earlier, okay? But I'm gonna still demonstrate it for you anyways. Okay, so I've cleared away that emotional tr trigger surrounding uh, money crisis. I realized that it caused me fear. That fear isn't there anymore. I've owned it away. I've snuffed it out. Good, so now I'm putting my hands up in transmission posture. Now again, what I recommend 
is even when you're doing phase one, is you still do this. But if you don't want to do it, it's okay. You don't have to for phase one, but for phase two, you have to do this, okay? So it's up to you. I've decided to make phase one an option if you want to do transmission posture, okay? But phase two, we do this, okay? So now we're going to breathe in and breathe out spirit three times. You can say spirit, you can say source energy, you can say light, you can say God, whatever you wish, okay? Whatever represents the divine, whatever which represents perfection to you, okay? So breathing in spirit, breathing out spirit through the nose, breathing in spirit through the nose, breathing out spirit through the nose, inhale spirit, exhale spirit, relax. Now we go to our Sankalpa, our heartfelt intention, and we're saying it three times, and you can just use the same affirmation that I'm going to use here. I'm healing my body to clear away this condition. Second time, more sincere. I'm healing my body to clear away this condition. Good. Third time, more sincere. I am healing my body to clear away this condition. Good. Now we just take a deep breath in. And we begin heart rate variability breath. Remember, as you exhale through the nose, add two extra seconds. So if I'm breathing in for four, you exhale for six. If you're breathing in three, you exhale for five, so forth. And I would continue to do heart rate variability until intuition inside tells me we're finished. And I would lower my hands. I would do one final deep breath. And then we're done. Okay. So that's all we're doing. Phase two is exactly the same. So this is what we're doing here for phase one. We're just using Om Japa. And again, try it out for yourself. See which one you really like. See which one you prefer. Do you like doing the five heart rate variability breaths? Or do you like doing the three Om Japas, okay? That's all we're doing. Like I said, if you want to do this mentally, you can. So as we're breathing in, I'm again just uh, mentally uh, projecting that mental Om chant into the thought. So it's... Okay, and I'm just making that mental Om chant very loud in my mind and put, putting it towards the thought, okay? So we can do the Om chant mentally or we can do the, the Om chant verbally, okay? Whichever you prefer, it's up to you, all right? But that's it. That is Prana Transmission Technique version two. So give it a try, see how you like it. Feel free to put your comments uh, below and let me know how it's uh, working for you, okay? It's a very, very simple practice, but like I said, first and foremost, please make sure you're doing this. Make sure you're doing heart rate variability. We want to get into a calm state of being before we do any type of healing. So very important. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you again in another perspective of the now. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaskar. Thank you very much for checking out the New Earth Teachings YouTube channel. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you can check out the websites, newearthteachings.com, where you can order a private session, three questions by email, EQ method, and a lot more. And you can also check out healingcodecards.com, where you can grab your mind deck, your body deck, and of course the brand new body deck special edition. All of these are available in digital editions as well. And you can also get a shirt just like this through HealingCodeShop.com where you can experience the healing codes in apparel form. So feel free to check out these websites. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you again in the next video. Be well.